Hello. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Last time we finished is stranded on the interloper. Yeah, we did all sorts of things last time. You can see that we've been on the on the screen here for a while. The letters are breaking apart quite nicely. We are going to resume our expedition. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. We're gonna see what else we can discover. And let's find out more about that quantum moon. Okay. And I have this hypothesis that the eye and the quantum moon might be related to each other. It's a good hypothesis. All right. Oh, I saw the quantum moon and it's gone now. <laughs> Where would you like to go? First to Brittle Hollow to learn more about the quantum moon and then we'll continue going to Giant... Then we'll continue to our expedition on Giant... Okay. So Brittle Hollow first. Huh? To find out more about that quantum moon. Okay. We can equip our scout launcher in our ship. Oh yeah, you can. Perfect. <gasps> the quantum moon! <laughs> it's right there, huh? <laughs> it decided to hang out at Brittle Hollow. Alright, do you want to go straight down to the city? Sure. And the quantum moon's gone, but it doesn't matter. We're going to learn more about of that moon anyway. Oh. <laughs> e, buckle up. Escape pod. Now let's find that gravity cannon. You want to find the gravity cannon? Yes, because it's close. Oh, it's too... Oh, that... It... It power of quantum knowledge. But this time, let's try and not land inside it. Okay. You don't want to shoot it off again? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Now, where did that grab it? Ooh, the southern outpost! Oh, I keep doing that. Okay. Let's, let's, see. let's do a little OD for and explore that southern outpost. Okay, look, there's something over there, too. Have we been over there? Oh. Okay, so let's go here, and then we'll go to the southern outpost, okay? Yep. Okay. Landing. 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 And touchdown! Okay. Tree! Oh. What's that? Quantum rock! Okay, there's an unidentified signal. What do I need to do? Equip signal scope. It's a quantum rock. Let's test our scout out bang on it. Take a picture when we're looking away and look back. Okay. Let's get close enough. There. It identified tower shard. So we'll put that away. And you want... Scout! Okay, we'll get the scout. All right, and we'll take a snapshot. Yes, it worked. <laughs> Good job. Good figuring so, it out. So, all we need to do. I know why. A drawing. So, scout which enables us. Is. And I make sure the quantum rock doesn't enable or that the quantum moon doesn't move. Beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum <gasps> knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. To the quantum moon we go! At least it's power of quantum knowledge. 
now. This is the high bit of surface integrity. Now. We can't get in. There has to be a door somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it's, it's farther down. I don't know, buddy. I feel like we should go back up there at least for a little bit. And see what else is up there. And Hold on. The tower. Okay. Going up. Oxygen tank refilled. Okay. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. It's not normal, even for this alien planet. And I've never seen them move. I never see them move. Is that even possible? So maybe it's the quantum rock. <laughs> if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are apparent, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Ooh, a bit more. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. It pos possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Yes. The quantum... Oh. Apparently. Oh, he got rid of the picture. We need to take a picture. Picture! Okay. Uh, got it. Okay. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason the objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix men <laughs> mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Ooh. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Oh, so the quantum moon must have... They've made shards. Or the, these rain. Ooh. That fell down. Okay. Okay. Now let's enter the tower for more information about the strange moon. I think that's a good idea. Let's figure this out. Okay. That's the entrance. Let's see. Because this one has something to say too. Okay, that's the Southern Observatory. That's... Below 90 meters. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. It's broken. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. He must be talking to someone else. Mm, I think it could be anybody. Solanum was gonna go. I can't make it. I can't get in there. What do we do? I have no idea. This Crossroads. is the crossroads that way. 
But the Southern Observatory is over there. Doesn't look like that will help, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Wah. Uh oh. Sixty one percent in surface integrity. Well, I don't know how to get in. What do you think we should do? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, do you think I have to fly in there with my ship? Possibly. That's the only solution I can make out. And there goes the rock. Or did you want to go to the Southern Observatory? Um, let's fly in with the ship. Okay, we'll try. It might be difficult. But, really, our jetpack doesn't have enough power. But there are holes in this planet. You're right. It could enter through one of them. Okay, we'll try and find it. Try and find a big hole. That our ship can fit. Ooh, what about that one? Hmm, it's a little difficult, but I can try. Try. Yeah, let's try not to do that. Ooh. Oh dear. Event horizon. Uh, Not quite yet. What? Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's really possible to do. Okay. Well, we can. I think we can just go straight back. Okay. That's the tower right there. <clears throat> I think it's a little bit too. Close. What the? What is happening to the black hole? I don't know. Let's just get in tower. I don't think I can. Can I get inside? I don't think I can get inside. Ooh. Oof! 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 Uh oh. Hole break. Let's let's repair it. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can get out. Uh oh. Oh. I think. I think it's dead. <laughs> I don't think I can fix it. Oh! Oh my goodness. Our ship just exploded. <laughs> um. Well, well, I don't. <laughs> well. There goes our ship. Well, that's exciting. Apparently, we not. Apparently, our ship can get super <laughs> duper damaged. Yeah, and now we're super duper damaged, <laughs> and I can't. I can't heal. So let's try not to hurt ourselves at all. Ooh. Oh. This planet is breaking apart! Sure is. We Oh. Uh, it looks like the Southern Observatory might be gone. What do you think? 
Oh my goodness. Maybe we should meditate until the next boat. Maybe. This is pretty intense. This is <laughs> it's pretty intense. What if... What if the tower... gets sucked in to the black hole and we follow it and then we can float inside? Ooh, that could be a possibility. Okay. If... If the... Uh, if Brittle Hollow's moon does hit the tower, where the tower is. Do you, see, do you see any openings? I don't see any openings. Yeah, this tower is pretty thick. Yep. Hmm. Well, at least we'll have some oxygen. Oh, it's showing us which planet the, m the moon is around. <gasps> and it's close to the eye of the universe! Yeah, see, and look, now it's, now it's different. It's that dark bramble! Yeah. It's a quantum moon locator! Ooh, only 10% surface integrity, so I'll bet. When the moon hits this spot, it will fall down. Okay, and maybe we'll just go with it. Now let's see where it is now. Still at Dark Bramble. It must... Over there. I think. Nope, it's over there. Where? There it is. It's that? right there. I don't think so. I think that's a... I think Something else. I think that's Dark Bramble over there. I think it's White Hole Station. It might be. I'm not sure. Still on Dark Bramble! Yep. It must like hanging out of that spot. Uh oh. This place is, is gonna fall down. Ooh. We're falling. We're falling. Ooh. Here we go. There's our ship. Where's We're, the tower? I don't know. Ooh, darn it. We just died because our ship hit us. Oh no. Well, at least we know who, who, how to enter. The tower and there's well, maybe <laughs> that was exciting maybe we should continue our giant steep adventure do you want to do that or do you want to go to the southern observatory let's let's see what's let's see because we said we were going to go to the southern observatory ages ago <laughs> and we never did that's like one of the first things we were going to do right Let's go there. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. After all, it, it will be easier to go there than inside that broken tower of quantum power. Yeah. And at least we know oh, that the quantum moon has a special little pattern. And it... And I was right. It does hang out at the eye. Yeah. So maybe if we can follow its pattern, we can use the quantum moon to find out where exactly the eye is. That would be interesting. Oh, look, there's the... It's right there. There's the gravity cannon. Yeah. This time, in let's park in this spot we're meant to park in. Because, how? Because gravity cannon is off limits. I can't see when you're putting your <laughs> head right in front of me. Okay. Parking and parked. All right. 
not forget our spacesuit, that would be bad. Yep. Okay. This thought. Okay. Look over here. Whoa! Wah! <laughs> okay. Let's explore this spot. Okay, dead tree. A brittle hollow projection snow. We're on brittle hollow. This looks like the oh, tower this is, of Quantum Yeah, Island. this is inside the tower. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it with us. Maybe we can put it somewhere. Ah! Ah, I am at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Comes to me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Okay. So we've already and heard that. There's an Omibo fossil. So do you think maybe we should go to the crossroads? She said it was on the opposite side, right? Yes. But we want to go to the observatory. Hmm? Wah! That was wrong. I didn't want to do that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong. Okay. Go to the Southern Observatory. Southern Observatory. Let's turn on these things. Run. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your your sound for traveling? <laughs> Hmm, this doesn't look very promising. I think I'm gonna fall. Okay. Hmm, that looks kind of scary too, huh? <laughs> Made it. Ooh. Path. Gravity crystals. This this must be the path of the southern Ooh. observatory. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like this. Ah. This isn't fun at all. Okay. Those gravity crystals are gone. Let's There we go. Nope. <laughs> Where do I go? Ooh, over there! Ah. Thank you, gravity crystals. <laughs> now... That looks like a bolt. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't fun. I don't like this at all. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Are you tensing up? Are you tensing up? Because I'm tensing up. Okay, let's see. Ooh! Oof, 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 uh, very difficult to get to the Southern Observatory. There must be a lot of things that we can learn there, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh. In the no! Light. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Let's see. What's over here? See, there's nothing over here except... Well, there's some more gravity crystals, but it looks like there's ghost matter over there, too. Let's see? I think I need to get up there. Ow. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm running out of fuel. Um, no, my. They are pretty good. Ooh! We got to this part! Hmm. 50%. Yep. Do you think I can make it up there? Let's try. Whoa! We made it. What do those look like? Giant steep cyclones. Giant steep cyclones. Must be in. Oh hey, do you think we can open up the door? Yep, I see a little ball thingy. Oh good, that'll make it easier to get in and out. Okay. We're in the Southern Observatory. <clears throat> oh, giant steep. It protect, protect themselves. Oh, this is the projection we saw on the building. Yes, it's it's the shipyard. Yep, this is about the orbital probe cannon. probe cannon and how we shouldn't do it, right? That's why it's orange, I think, because we've already read it. Casava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts to orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components to orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude spire, Kanoi is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But it was really was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giants Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Alright. So those are the two types of cyclones. Mm-hmm. So, one of those ty cyclones may... Hourglass twin. Timber heart. <laughs> Brittle hollow. Giant steep. Dark bramble. I wonder what this. <gasps> the eye. The eye is in orbit around the sun. I don't know. It looks like they don't know either. It's moving everywhere Let's see unable to determine orbit no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe Ooh. let's go over here what have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe based on our knowledge of the quantum moon we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun this would mean the eye is located with a, within a finite, albeit enormous, range. That's interesting that the center of the universe is going around the sun. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. 
the locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware, I grew up hearing the eye's story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Hmm. So the eye, he might be orbiting around us, but it's so far away that we can't see it. Yeah. Hypothesis. Okay, what's your hypothesis? Maybe that it's thing we saw so far away might have been the eye. Oh, maybe. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? Untranslated no my writing. <laughs> we know that the eye looks like what oh we know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe, launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. As we couldn't find the eye's signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search in this method. Ooh. Malo's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pai about the technology they're developing? No. It's a possibility that the eye might be in orbit around the star, but... But they don't know where. Because it's so oh, absurdly far. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm here, I did it! I put the ship down safely! Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit these rocks! One of my better attempts, Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's good news. Bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Well, we went inside! Yes, we did. Hello, ship. It's his ship! Mm-hmm. The ship that he couldn't fix. Well, he said he fixed it. But he couldn't fix the entrance. Now it is stuck closed. <laughs> now let's get back to our ship. Okay. And we have sure updated our ship all. You're right. A lot to talk about. And usually when we find out more, there's another the piece of the ship log that that is still a mystery. There's our ship! There it is. Now let's replenish our fuels to an oxygen supply. Ta-da! Okay. Let's see. So we've learned that the eye might be in orbit around the star. Ooh. Event Horizon! Goodness. This is... Hey, it's his little camp. Oop. Let's get out of here. Did the tower already fall? Where's the tower? Okay. Well, there's the tower. This time, mm. it's pretty 
be insanely small entrance. Yeah, I think it's made. Oh, yep. Wow. Okay, if I try to even get in there at all, then it crushes the ship immediately. It really doesn't want me in there. <laughs> so, I guess we do. We just have to wait until it gets taken. Which I don't really like. I don't like that at all. <laughs> should we just stay inside of it? Yeah! We should stay inside of it! That way! Yeah, this is only 4% surface integrity, so it should be going soon. Okay. Let's but just stand here. <laughs> so, oh, there is no danger of us getting hurt. Plus, the know my a you were they're smart. They, How were they smart? They found out the quantum moon's pattern. You're right. That proves they're smart. <laughs> Ooh. I think we're moving. Here we it, go. It was us. Here we go. Are we floating? We're floating. Oh. What the? Apparently the trees went with us. Let's get inside. Oh. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Apparently, there are lights. Okay, let's see here. Do you see any projection stones? Okay. There's a scroll. Yeah, on that scroll rack. Hmm. Oh, right there. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. I think I have to get closer. Nope, too close. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us, those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to, ooh, to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered to, how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the quantum moon. Ah! Let me translate it! Come on! We're running out of time. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you just as it carried me and many in our clan before me to the moon's sixth and most 
secret location. You will be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon, but remember this final rule. To explore... Oh no. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be cautious, or, yep, be curious on your journey. Okay, so to explore that sixth location, it has to be on the North Pole, but where do we land on the quantum moon? The South Pole. Hmm. Which means we have to We'd go have to, to the to... other side of the moon. We... Yeah. Let's meditate until oh, the next thing. Uh, well, I think the loop is happening right now. I think the, the sun just exploded and we're just waiting. Yep, here it comes. I can hear it. There it is! It exploded! And we're dead. And we figured out. And we went to the tower. So, time to... We'll go to the southern observatory. But we already did. All right. Now <laughs> let's go to the core of, of that planet called known as Giant State. I think we have to do that the next time because we were, we've died twice. But we can go and read. Should we go read? Sure. All right, let's go read. We understand a lot more now. And we know how to get to the probe cannon, right? Or not probe cannon. The other cannon that ended up in Giant Steep. Wow. Okay. There's more to explore at the construction yard. Yes, there is. Okay, the new, more sensitive locator the Nomai built on this observatory in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones the Nomai use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. So that's pretty cool. Right? Let's, let's do more pay. The Nomai built the shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were re reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determined this shard was the reasons objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. This shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. So we haven't found those. We found the one here, right on, on uh, our planet. Because it made you nervous, remember? Hmm. There's more to explore at White Hole Station. And we don't know about the vessel because it was trapped on your Bramble years ago. So my shuttle. Oh, and this is, yep. That is on the interloper. Okay. We've learned a lot. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Well, I, I guess we have to go, huh? First, let's look at our map to, to see how the timber heart is put it. I see that they put that the interloper crosses orbits with dark bramble, bramble and and they put the orbital probe cannon there, but they... But they don't know what it is. Yeah, but we know what it is. Yeah, we know what it is. And then there's Hollow Slanchard and Brittle. Hollow Timberheart, Yadderot. You know what I think is interesting? What? The fact that when we translate the Nomai writing, they call all of these planets the same thing. What? All of the planets. We we called them all of these different things, but the Nomai called them all these different things, too. They they must have had the same idea as the Timber Heart. Well, yeah. Or maybe we just figured out what their word for these planets was, and we just translated it to our same word. Maybe. I don't know. But we were the first ones to use it was the translator. Yeah, we created it, yes. <laughs> Spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. I love it. Okay. Well, we are going to quit. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so next time, what are we going to do? Go to the core of giants. Yeah, we're going to put ourselves in a cyclone, I guess. <laughs> and we'll go to and the core. And make sure it's one of those rarer types, which yeah. is a problem because most cyclones blast you up into space. You're right. They do that to all the islands, too. I guess the islands are really lucky that one of the rare cyclones didn't push them down below the surface. All right. Possibly one of them was unlucky and got pushed down. Maybe. So uh, there were origin. So maybe there were originally six islands, but that one fell down and there were five islands left. I don't know. Okay. Well... Thank you all for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!